Hey Ma, do you know what bursts my bubble? What bursts your bubble, Andrew? They say if you win a lot of money, or you make a lot of money, or you become rich and famous, right. a lot of people from your past will come back into your life. Like friends, family members you haven't heard from, and they'll want to be associated with you. Sometimes that's true, yeah. Uh, so they say you learn who your true friends are if you ever become rich and famous. I mean, not, not, not to say I've become rich and famous, but I remember I, I had a teacher many years ago say this, you know, I mean, I, I don't know what this teacher was even referring to. Maybe she, maybe she was talking out her ass because, you know, she wasn't rich and famous. She was working as a teacher. Well, maybe but, she saw it happen to somebody. Yeah, I know. Obviously, if you come into a lot of money or you become rich and famous, People from 20 years, 30 years, they all start coming back and they're like, oh, we always believed in you, we always loved you, we always you know, wanted to be in your life, but, you know, basically... Well, the singer, um... I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean there, there's, there, nobody wants to associate with you when you're a loser. But you know what, if you're a winner, everybody wants to come back and associate and share in your success. Well, especially that, your money, <laughs> right? Especially your money. But even, even if you have this personality where it's just fun and chipper and, you know, and, you know, I, I'm not, not to say I'm going to have a rags to riches transformation and come back with determination, but let's say, hypothetically speaking, I do. I'm, I think I'm going to say to a lot of the people, where have you been for the last 20 years? Well, I think years? That, that happens in any situation. I mean, when, <clears throat> when people are sick and suffering and having a hard time and the people that are truly there for them during the good times and the bad are the ones that are real friends. Right. I mean, the ones that, I mean, that exit stage we, we, left. Realistically, I mean, aside from you, Dad, and a, a select few others, I mean, who's who's really been there for me? I mean, everybody's everybody's gone away, really. I mean, like literally everybody. Well, I mean, unfortunately, there are certain sicknesses that can be designed to chase people away, you know, and, and people don't know how to handle them or don't know how to, you know, deal with it. A lot of people, you know, even family members I've seen years ago, you know, when, when men in general don't deal with sickness, just sickness in general, well, they kind of back away because it upsets them. Right. You know? um, so, so if you're strong and you can deal with things, that says a lot for your personality because illness is a tough So are, are, are you saying friends and family all left my life because of my schizoaffective disorder and mental health I challenges? I didn't say that. You just don't put words no, in I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. I'm just saying that in general. I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, but I'm saying... No, I'm just saying uh, in general, people don't, especially men, don't deal with ill... I, I mean, I saw it in the hospital. Right. I'm talking about what I saw in the hospital mm. with family illnesses. You know, I remember a patient asking me that. No, don't mention patients. I, I mean, you know, I, it's years ago. And yeah, I don't yeah, remember yeah, the yeah, name. Yeah, because we don't want to get sued. And asking me that, did I do the right thing by standing by my wife when she was so ill, yeah. young? And I said to him, would she have stood by you? And he said, yes. I said, well, then you answered your question. Right. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there are some people in this world that are selfless that will love you unconditionally. But usually, I mean, you, sometimes you can find that in a romantic partner, as you just described there. But most of the time, I mean, it seems like in my life, the only people who really stood by me are you, Dad, and maybe a handful of others. Uh, but, you know, not very many people stood by me. And, you know, a lot of people just disappeared. And I have a feeling pretty soon I'm going to have a rags to riches transformation. And I bet you a lot of these people are going to be coming back. And, you, you know, you know, you know what, what, what am I going to say, what am I gonna say to them? Like, hit, take, hit, hit the highway. Where have you been for the past 20 Where years? Where have you been? Yeah. I mean, it, the, the problem is, yeah. the problem. You know, with, with sometimes with things, you know, people people don't want to, um, I, I don't know how I, to I guess, I mean, that pretty much sums it up. Yeah. That, that is, is what it is. It is. It is.